All right, I believe you should be able to see my screen. So as Greg mentioned, I'm a lead experiential graphic designer at Ewing Cole. Um, I've been there for about five and a half years, but I've been in the business for over 20. And Greg and I recently worked on um, the Rutgers RASC or Rodkin Academic Success Center together. Um, you know, it's interesting in our field of design that not many people have degrees in exactly what we do. We might come from an exhibit degree, a graphic design degree, architecture or interior design, but um, there's really not too many degrees in EGD. So a lot of us are really kind of learning um, either through co-ops or through um, work on the job. And so it's always an interesting story to hear where people came from. So just a little tidbit that's interesting about our field. So for the Rutgers project, um, really quickly, it was a design build project with a group called Natoli. It's an 80,000 square foot building. It serves about 700 students and it's a training facility for men's and women's soccer and lacrosse, but it also offers a lot of academic support services and it also offers offices for the entire athletic faculty and staff. So there are a lot of partners and a lot of user groups that are using this and they all have different kind of goals and um, needs for the space and that's something that we're tasked with is to create a cohesive integrated space that fits all the needs for recruiting, for students, for academia, to showcase Rutgers as a first class facility, and then of course offering the, you know, day-to-day -day support services with regards to training, athletics, and academia. So overall project goals, which we had a hit from an architectural standpoint, because uh, Ewing Cole is an architecture, engineering, interior design, and EGD firm. So we did the an entire building uh, with the Natoli team. Um, so these are our top ones. We really needed to transform records to set that standard, create innovative learning environments, creating best in practice places and flexible for future growth. And then most importantly, especially to me, is defining that sense of place. This is the exterior of the building and there's a couple EGD moments here, but really the, the guts of it happens inside. So we're gonna look at three floor plans. It's a three-story building and everything you see here are all moments to tell the story about Rutgers. So these are all experiential graphic design moments, whether it's a painted stripe on a wall or a logo or a big integrated panel. So you can see there are a lot of opportunities that we integrated throughout. So the first floor is mainly for the athletes. There's a lot of action happening down here. This is where the training facilities are and the locker rooms. The middle floor is more academia, so it's way more subdued. And then the top floor incorporates a little bit of athletes um, spaces for the film room, which is where they're going to be studying films and maybe recruiting some athletes, but it's mainly for the coaches. This is a view of the main entry lobby. And what's nice um, about this project and many of our projects is everything is fully integrated. So it doesn't look like things are plunked on a wall. It was all developed um, with this sense of place to make sure everything feels like it was all intentional and it was designed by the same team or group of people. Um, so it's not like somebody came in after the fact. So we have a couple of moments where we have some dimensional elements paired with some cut dimensional vinyl or digitally printed vinyl. Here are some quick um, drawings or 2D elevations that we developed with some design intent. So we pulled in some three dimensional letters paired with dimension or um, paired with uh, digitally printed films and die cut films and that was something we really had to work with Greg and his team on is to understand how can we make the paint um, from the dimensional letters match the digitally printed films that are you know made out of CMYK and we're trying to hit all these different grays as well as the Rutgers red. So this is a view of the final piece installed. It's fantastic. What's really nice here is this um, kind of serendipitous placement of Scarlet Knights in the room beyond. Um, you really kind of get the sense of place, seeing all the mission and vision words for the program, both from an athletics and academia standpoint. But as we take this red line and wrap around into this corridor, we're going to really open up to where we um, add some moments of power and strength for those athletes. I forgot that I had added this slide in. This is a little detail of the word wall where you can see the dimensional letters paired with the vinyl. This is not a color corrected photo. I need to fix the colors on it. This is from my iPhone. So these grays actually do match in person. <laughs> my iPhone photo is not showing it matching so well, but what's nice about this is it creates different levels and planes and textures. 
So as I mentioned, that one red line kind of carries you through the space, and this is where we start to activate that experience for the athletes. We have some big logos, big iconography and words um, for the training corridor. And on the other side, we kind of have like a hall of fame. So these dimensional panels that um, Blue Edge helped us create are digitally printed graphics applied to a rigid substrate. The goal here was to make it feel timeless. So we're using grayscale images as well as a Rutgers gray and a Rutgers red. But what our biggest challenge was is really tying in all the different materials with all the different colors. A wall covering that's textured is going to look a little bit different when it's printed red versus a paint or versus a 3M film or versus a direct digitally printed graphic. So that's something we really honed in with. Um, and it's so important to have a fabricator that really understands color, can speak the language, knows how to tweak it on their end, and they understand your goals and vision for the output. So this is um, a view of the panel in finished state. It's a huge panel. It's like seven feet tall, so it's larger than life. So it really creates this sense of achievement and grandioso, if you will, for these athletes saying like, you could be in the next Carly Lloyd, you could be an Olympic athlete, you can be a professional athlete, and you could also donate back to your community. So this, these panels are changeable. They're just mounted with a Z clip so they can easily change out, but they have that substance and feel of a permanent piece. When we're developing this artwork um, and the whole overall scheme of the brand, again, we wanted to activate the, the graphics for the athletes down low um, on the lower level. So we studied the Rutgers Chainmail brand. So this is their standard pattern, but how can we re-envision a typical chain mail, but still make it feel like Rutgers? It could be literal chain mail. It could be a deconstructed chain mail and just looking at some of the different geometric forms and shapes. And then also looking at the positives and negatives of the space. Maybe we incorporate some gradations, um, pull in darker shades of red, because if you go light, you go pink. So you kind of have to go dark if you want variations of red. So red is a very challenging color to work with. Uh, so we also went from the traditional chain mail to something maybe more unique. So this one was really trying to speak to the two sports that were utilizing the space, soccer and lacrosse, and pulling in those geometric forms that were consistent between the two sports. So this was a study. It ended up wanting to go back to the original chain mail, but it was a good study to showcase to the clients of the different opportunities from a graphic standpoint. Um, you know, the red is really hard to match, and so we're pushing through with Greg multiple copies. Again, the way light reflects off of that can change the reds, and so that was something we really had to hone in on, and we appreciate all these samples, and there were a lot. There's probably like 15 samples of red, but you know that red sometimes went purple or blue or brown, and so we really had to hone in on the right amount of um, CMYK to hit those matches. So we took that pattern, made it huge, large scale on the graphics. We took some of these color photos for inspiration and turned them into illustrations, as you see here on the left. So we have these wall coverings with some dimensional panels. And so the finished state today is here. It's very powerful. As the athletes turn down this corridor, they are seeing this beautiful, bold color. It's reminding you of where you need to go within the space. Within the locker rooms themselves, we did a little different take, took it more of a grayscale option. We, again, had to do some color samples to understand how it would all work out. And we took the same theme, but took actual black and white photos as opposed to illustrations. And we had to create four different looks, um, all with the same style and same theme, but different words, different messages, different boldness, different photography. Sometimes this um, coaches wanted it on history versus present day. So we really had to be creative in how we developed that artwork. But as you can see, as we go through all the locker rooms, their consistent look throughout, even though the messaging is different. Um, but again, we had to hone in on the color. So we have digitally printed red here that has up lights on it. We have painted red graphics here and we have internally illuminated signs up above. So Greg's team worked very diligently to help us ensure that our reds were going to match across all the different materials and methodologies. And it was really fun seeing the student athletes um, reactions when they walked into the space. They had the videos on Instagram and it just gave me goosebumps seeing their pure reactions of joy, screaming and saying, this is fantastic. It's so much better than what we ever imagined. So that knows that makes you know that you have hit a home run. It has been successful, not only for the staff and the coaches and for the donors, but really for the end user group, the athletes.
Another time when we had to really deal with color was when we were doing some um, really subdued graphics up on the third level. So this is at the coach's level. We wanted it to feel more sophisticated, um, a little bit more pulled back from that raw, raw, sispoon, ba kind of thing. And so, yes, we could implement these verticals with paint, but we chose to do a wall covering to make it feel a little bit classier and a little bit more high end. But again, grays are really hard to match. Um, so we worked with, with Greg again. I said, here are my Pantone colors I'm trying to match. Here are the paint colors I'm trying to match. And Greg said, OK. Really, I need to work off the paint colors because Pantone grays are really challenging. So he um, went ahead and scanned in those paint colors and came up with this huge sheet, which you can see has been well loved. Um, it's probably four feet by three feet. And um, I basically had to pick all my shades of gray. And the ones I picked are the ones that are cut out. But this was so important to me because if you saw this in person, you would see some of these grays as brown, some of them as green, some of them as yellow, some of them as blue, some of them as perfectly gray. And it's all in the eye of the beholder, but it's also like depending on the light. Is it hanging on the wall? Is it on the floor? So we appreciated this. This really cut down our decision making super fast because we were able to pick which grays we wanted. So T Greg's team could go ahead and put those numbers in to the system um, for his, his printer system. And the finished product is this beautiful shade of gray, really simple wall pattern that comes all the way down. We have it superimposed with some museum quality framed image graphics, which Greg's team also printed the captions as well as the images while we had those professionally framed. And then we took that same look into the film room. This is where they're going to take the students for recruitment, um, also to review films from the game or to prep for the future game. Again, the focus should be on the front of this room because that's where the TV is, um, but we wanted to really still show all of the records graphics. So we had kind of tone on tone, Knight's Head and the state of New Jersey logo, but then a bold pop of scarlet red. Um, so this is the overall layout that Greg's team really had to work through on the field dimensions to make sure that the way the steps um, tiered up and then the way the ceiling came down all worked with the bleed so that the logos were cutting off in the right place and the lines were cutting off in the right place. And this is a finished product. So it's been fun to see this also on Instagram whenever they're showing um, the athletes reacting to a moment of film or reacting to a celebration. They've been hosting it in here and it's really fun to see them live in the space. But really what draws your eye is the red cloud, the Scarlet Knights and the R's and then you have the rest of the brand subtly behind you. So again, this really brings into the importance of understanding the different materials that are being used within the space, maybe the different fabrication partners you have involved, whether it's your print partners, in addition to maybe somebody who's doing some dimensionally internally illuminated signage or painted signage, and making sure all those colors are matching together and having that print partner truly understand color, truly understand why we need the colors to match and why we're being picky, and they're just as picky as we are. That's what I value, um, both in Greg and in Blue Edge. I've really been um, I'm blown away and this is not like an advertisement. I really have been blown away by that partnership um, because I really feel that they're very knowledgeable when it comes to color and understanding how it reacts to different materials and what your different printers do. Like I don't understand the printers necessarily, but Greg and his team do. So by collaborating our expertise together, we're going to end up with a gorgeous finished product. And so really my secret sauce is working with those amazing fabrication partners who really understand the color and the communicating that back with the client and showing them what their expectations are and just hearing what the clients want and trying to achieve those goals and circling back often to make sure that, you know, this is really what they were hoping for. This is the beautiful scale, the beautiful, you know, feeling that, um, the whole piece gives them and I consider it a success just looking at those different Instagram videos, which I'll have to share these links in the chat, but um, it was a really fun project and I was really excited to work with Blue Edge on this effort.